the secret to living in harmony with others. When two people first become friends, they get along well with each other. But over time, one begins to impose one's habits and ideas on the other, and that's where the quarrels start. So people who are in a relationship will soon have rows. This is called the breaking in period. Problems like this exist between companies and families. Therefore, when we get along with others, we shouldn't be in a hurry to impose our ideas or thoughts on them. Rather, we must first occupy the commanding point and stand high. Standing high means your view is insightful and your realm of thought is lofty. With justice and wisdom you can stand high. Even so, you shouldn't rush to force or change the other person. Especially between family members and couples, it is almost impossible to change the other person, so you can only change yourself. If you change yourself, the other person may see it and be moved by you, slowly learn from you and change themselves too. You then assimilate the other person so that the family is harmonious and cheerful and a harmonious environment is created. People nowadays don't have the wisdom to always force others to listen to them. This is equivalent to holding a weapon to threaten, intimidate or even beat and scold the other to obey you. However, your karmic rewards and virtues are not enough to convince the other to believe you in all aspects. If you only have the knowledge and opinions that you've learned from books or your master and talk like a parrot, how can others believe you? So you have to practice and cultivate to develop your virtues. In doing so, What you say is a demonstration of your wisdom and virtue and others will be able to change slowly under your influence.